Hello, sister friends. Welcome to 10-Minute Bedtime Biblical Confessions with Dr. Val. I'm so glad you're here to join me in this serene moment before we close our day. Tonight, we will focus our hearts and minds on God's word through the power of confession. Each of our carefully chosen confessions will be spoken twice, totaling 10 minutes. This practice is not just repetition. It's a form of biblical meditation, just as described in Joshua 1, 8. In this passage, we're reminded of the strength that comes from speaking God's word and then actively living it out. It's through this meditation and observation that we find our path to prosperity and success. Seeing the promises of God manifest in our lives because of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the help of Holy Spirit. So let's settle in, relax, and prepare our hearts to speak these truths. By declaring them together, we engage in a powerful spiritual exercise that aligns our thoughts with God's intentions for us. Ready to begin? Let's start our journey of confession and see the transformation it brings. Hey ladies, thank you for joining me this evening. Tonight we are going to make positive declarations. If you are having trouble seeing yourself the way God sees you, I want you to make these declarations as many times as you need to. Twice a day, three times a day, especially before you go to sleep. We want to work on changing the structure of your mind. The Bible talks about us renewing our mind and what science has come to realize several years ago that there is plasticity of the brain, which means you can actually change your brain and or your mind. So we're going to do that tonight by our positive declarations. So remember, we're saying this twice, repeat after me, and then you're going to say it again. Here we go. I am beautiful. I'm magnificent. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, my lips, my hips, my eyes, and my thighs, I'm wonderful in every way. There is no one like me and nor will there ever be. When God made me, he made one of one. I am fabulous. I am a wonder walking. I step with sass. I am a boss in my own right. I have skills and tools at my fingertips. I am never without an answer. I trust in the most holy God and he never fails me. I'm never down for the count, so don't count me out. I will always rise to the occasion, even surprising you amazing you, astonishing you with who I am. So I will be encouraged. I will be uplifted. I will think of myself as God thinks of me. I am the apple of his eye. I'm uniquely made and fashioned after my father. Whatever I don't have, I can get. And if I can't get it, I don't need it. But I'm okay. Whatever the outcome, whatever the situation, whatever the verdict, whatever the consensus, I am good. I am me. 
There's no one else like me. No one smiles like I do. No one talks like I do. No one looks like I do. No one acts like I do. I am me in all of my glory, which brings glory to my Father. So moving forward, when I lie down tonight and wake up in the morning, I'm waking up with this reality. I am me. I'm good at being me. I'm best when I am me. And I'm going to love being me every day moving forward. Whatever needs to change will change. Whatever needs to be straightened out will be straightened out. Because I have a Father in Heaven who hears me when I pray. I don't have to be discouraged. I don't have to be depressed. My soul does not have to be casted down because I know that I have someone looking out for me. So I look to the hills from which comes my help and my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And I rest, I sleep in this fact. In Jesus' name, amen. I am beautiful. I'm magnificent. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. My lips, my hips, my eyes and my thighs. I'm wonderful in every way. There is no one like me and nor will there ever be. When God made me, he made one of one. I am fabulous. I am a wonder walking. I step with sass. I am a boss in my own right. I have skills and tools at my fingertips. I am never without an answer. I trust in the most holy God and he never fails me. I'm never down for the count So don't count me out. I will always rise to the occasion, even surprising you, amazing you, astonishing you with who I am. So I will be encouraged. I will be uplifted. I will think of myself as God thinks of me. I am the apple of his eye. I'm uniquely made and fashioned after my father. Whatever I don't have, I can get. And if I can't get it, I don't need it. But I'm okay. Whatever the outcome, whatever the situation, whatever the verdict, whatever the consensus, I am good. I am me. There's no one else like me. No one smiles like I do. No one talks like I do. No one looks like I do. No one acts 
like I do. I am me in all of my glory, which brings glory to my Father. So moving forward, when I lie down tonight and wake up in the morning, I'm waking up with this reality. I am me. I'm good at being me. I'm best when I am me. And I'm going to love being me every day moving forward. Whatever needs to change will change. Whatever needs to be straightened out will be straightened out. Because I have a Father in heaven who hears me when I pray. I don't have to be discouraged. I don't have to be depressed. My soul does not have to be casted down because I know that I have someone looking out for me. So I look to the hills from which comes my help. And my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And I rest, I sleep in this fact. In Jesus' name, amen.